Yo, what it do YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop. Oh money, and we are back inside the Hyper Bulldog Reaction Chamber. And this is another edition to Tower of God. This is Tower of God, episode six. All right, guys, we're back with it. We're finally back with another seven days down. So yeah, the last few took couple of episodes of Tower of God has just been really, really nice. You know, they've really been picking it up. Uh, last episode... Episode 5, holy shit, as we saw. So we, we learned a lot of things. We saw a lot of things. Well, we learned that Coon's bag, about Coon's bag. Of course, he could store he could, uh, store things up in there or absorb and store things like uh, that Shinsu uh, that happened at one time. He could actually store people up in there as well. Or he could take items, put them in there, and make multiple copies of them. Hence why he was able to make those multiple crowns and those multiple chocolate bars for Rack. And also, yeah, about the crown game. The crown game ended in no contest because the crown had shattered. It shattered. Yeah, it was, it was really, really crazy at the end, especially with Bam. Bam was the main focal point of that episode. Um, we saw, you know, Rachel, it was a girl with, with a stab that was about to, you know, kill Rachel. Bam hopped in front of her, uh, took the blow to the head, and all he wanted to do was just protect Rachel. And then next thing you know, a big golden geyser of gold Shinsu came out of Bam. Just, holy shit, that power right there. He can't control it. So, you know, and we even saw Bam get up. After after staggering the um, the, the girl with the red hair with the staff, you know she even you know face cut in half and every, uh bleeding and everything. Uh, Bam standing over her, you know about to just give give out the, the a finishing blow. And the Black March girl, the girl from Black March, came out, stopped time, put Bam to sleep. Yeah, it's a lot we want to find out, man. So much more. So let's go ahead and get into this. Without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is Tower of God, Episode Six, right now. So fire! Oh my goodness! The stars. She wants to see the stars. She wants to see the yeah, thank y'all for clearing that up for me about Rachel. I was sitting there thinking she uh she got to the top of the tower. Or she you know just rose to the top of the tower. Each other's weakness. A burden. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess. You don't want that. Yeah. Only a handsome one. Ha 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 お前5日間も寝てたんだぞ。え、やっちが。なら安心しろ。お前、trying <笑> ライダー。暗い塔を灯台で照らし、戦闘状況を収集して情報を伝える。ウェーブコントローラー。神の水を操り、戦闘補助、制圧する。戦場の支配者。That's what old boy that was that was sleep wrapped up sleep was doing. 
けどお前が知ってる子じゃないみたいだぜえ聞いてみたんだけど夜のこと全然知らないってさ、uh, had to tell her had to just tell him something 見間違い俺のような目には合わせたくないそのためなら何度でも俺は、right, それ以外の方は契約がまだのようですのでポケットを可視化して目を閉じて可視モードそうな匂いをさせてるな、ボーズ。Oh goodness! Oh goodness! 失礼、挨拶がまだでしたね。ホーと申します。こちらは同じチームのラウレ。Yeah, ラロ全然平気そうですね。契約したてなのに。ええ、多少は訓練してますから、手を差し伸べることが。弱き者ね。はあ、授業だるだるか。そういえば、ラクさんは Is a her seeing band with a lot of, you know, a lot of other people? Keep my eye on her, is she? Hag! Nine friends in one week, huh? Forbidden to love, huh? Shut down. There's Anik. Does it? Okay. Okay. Oh my, really? So, so she's a princess too. What's her weapon called? For your own injuries. Oh, she coming straight for. Oh man, <laughs> want to see this? I want to see this match. I love Anik. I'm not gonna lie, she's she. Uh, oh girl, other girl, she's nice too. Hit that bitch. <laughs> Spirit bear. Well. Oh, 
に死んでるじゃねえか男をもてあそんで捨てるなんて罪深い女ね私って貴様さっきからふざけ腐ってあっあっあっあっあっあっあっguys there you have it that was episode six of tower of god so yeah we have a lot more questions a lot more questions that need to be answered so that's when that's what this show has been tossing at us so i, I just need everything to be cleared up in one episode man so i pretty much got a little bit a little bit of what's you know going on so of course we had the there'd be you know rachel and rachel trying to avoid bam trying to you know actually kind of uh, coming in contact with bam like you know con uh, conversation time like that uh because she said she she just simply just don't want them to be a burden to each other as they climb the tower or whatever like that so i you know i guess she had because you know, she wants to see the stars and i guess she doesn't want bam to be become a burden to her as she trying to because she wants to see the stars that badly or something like that and, and she just don't want to be a burden for them to be a burden to each other uh you know, I hope that they touch more on that. But uh yeah, so there's that right there. And Coon, Coon will lie to Bam as many times as he as he has to to prevent Bam from, you know, coming in, you know, from trying to get, you know, talk with Rachel. You know, so and, and you know, he's just trying to he's just trying to protect Bam. Uh so yeah, there's that right there. Now I also like how they was talking about the classes with the scouts, the wave controller, the uh, spirit bearer, all that. Bam is a wave controller. Uh, Rack is a spirit bearer, obviously. And, uh, I don't know what Coon is unless they already said it. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what Coon is yet. Uh, so, yeah, there's that right there. And now, the ending with Anik. So, and Dorsey, the girl. Yeah, she's also a princess. And Dorsey. Yeah, so, her and Anik. She was calling Anik an imposter. Uh, Coon was up there, you know, trying to research An uh, up on Anik. It seems that the Anik that we know, the lizard girl that we know right here, uh, that she's not the real Anik Jihad. She's not the real one. She's just somebody posing as her. Uh, that, that she said, uh, Anik, she's, he, uh, he called, she, and Dorsey called her Anik's orphan. So I guess you know her, her daughter. Um, uh, I guess you know her adopted daughter or whatever like that. So the real Anik Jihad seems to be dead. Her mother seems to be dead. That's what Kuhn was saying. And uh, you know, Anik, this girl, this Anik that we that we that we see, she's there to climb. The, she's there to, in this tower. She's not even there to fit in, climb the tower for a specific reason to for herself. She just wants to kill, or or exact revenge on every on every person that that labels them, every princess, every princess like in Dorsey and stuff like that. Man, yeah, and Yuri, whenever the time will come, you know, stuff like that to exact to exact revenge because it seems like you know, uh, her mom and dad, you know, they were killed. What it seems, uh, from the princesses back in the day, how house burned down and everything, and now she wants to exact revenge. So yeah, that's why Endorsey called her an imposter. Uh, I hope I'm getting this right, man. Cause oh, oh my god, cause it's, it's all it got me twisted, turned everywhere. So I believe I got it. I believe I do have it. 
you guys can fill me in on it. Feel free to fill me in in the conversation, guys. I'll be, I'll be reading if I'm missing anything. But yeah, that's her real. That's the that's this annex real adjective. What's her real name? If she's the if she's Annex Jaha's daughter, what's what's her actual real name? Shit, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. So let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything that they explained in the episode. Uh, if you like to leave a like. Comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'm sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.